Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Now this is kind of a little bit different. Now, I've been getting some questions of people asking what kind of security do I use on my own personal computer. So there you are. Now as you can see this is my own host machine. It's not the virtual machine in which I do my testing. So this is basically my computer. And here we've got two different applications for security. Now one is of course Komodo Internet Security Premium which is a free application you can download it at www.komodo.com it's absolutely free no sign in or registration required you can just download it straight away and this is what it looks like. Now I also use the AVG free link scanner so I use two different things and both of them are free so I don't use a lot of uh, money on security so let's take a look at Komodo here I know if I post this video straight away I know what kind of questions I'll be getting and I know the major question will be that how did you get it looking this way mine doesn't look that nice uh, how did you patch it actually I haven't done anything much to get it looking this way all you can in case you're bothered about the looks you can just go to more than preferences and just go to appearance select the skin nothing much so that's how I got it looking this way now this application that is Komodo comes with three different features now one is antivirus defense plus and firewall now a lot of users ask that how do we configure Komodo how do we get maximum security from Komodo how to use it now the default settings in Komodo are around the best they're the best in case you don't know what to do I would recommend just leave everything in stock settings. The stock settings are pretty good. But still then people just like to know like to configure it themselves. So in case you're interested you can check out my configuration. Now first uh, antivirus. Uh, I set real time scanning in stock. That's stateful. And I do not scan memory on start and the reason for that is that slows down your startup. Now this is one change that I make. By default, this is uh, the way it's set up. It's set not to show antivirus alerts and automatically quarantine threats. Now, I don't like that because uh, let's say you've got a false positive and you don't even get to know about it. Your files can just disappear in the background and that's kind of annoying and sometimes it feels strange. Sometimes you may not be able to figure out what exactly happened. So I just like my antivirus to tell me what it's doing. So I just disable this option so that I get an alert each time uh, when I have to remove a file either to quarantine or delete it. So that's the way I do it. Now rest of settings are in stock. Nothing else to really talk about. In manual scanning I do enable the cloud scanning and submit unknown files for analysis. Other than that I just leave everything stock. Some people like to set the heuristics to medium, I don't because Komodo gives uh, kind of a lot of false positives with high heuristics. So scheduled scanning is in stock settings and that's about it for the antivirus. Now about firewall. Now again I would recommend in case you're not sure of what to do, you should just leave everything in stock. The stock settings are pretty useful for simple users but anyway in case you're like me you like to configure it yourself this is what I use now I use training mode in Komodo firewall now I know that this lowers the security and that is why in case you're not sure of what to do I'd recommend setting it in safe mode but I like it in training mode because I use a lot of applications a lot of games uh, that require internet access and I don't like firewall getting in my way and the truth is that I just don't need a really good firewall. My ISP has a pretty good one, so I don't need to bother about it much. Now, this is another setting that I change. I disable this to not show pop up alerts setting because I like it to do some blocking. And in alert settings, I set it to very low again. If you're, I do that because I don't like the firewall getting in my way. In ca in case you're just uh, not uh, you don't know about all this you should just leave it in low not bother about it 
So that's the way the firewall setup defense plus is basically just set up in stock settings. I don't mess with anything. And I know a lot of advanced users recommend setting this to restrict it so that you can block the malware more effectively. And I don't do that. I just leave it in partial limited. And the reason for that is that whenever I have noticed that while installing a lot of legitimate applications, Komodo does sandbox them automatically. Now, it does happen because uh, it happens when the legitimate application is not in the Komodo's whitelist. And a lot of applications that are not that popular will not be there in the Komodo whitelist. So in that case, if you just set it to restricted, many applications are not going to run. So I don't like that. I just set it to partial limited. Of course, you can uh, you know exclude them and then run them again and hit the do not uh, sandbox again option, but I just leave it in partial limited. That's better for me. And in case you're unsure, I'd again recommend leave it in partial limited. And everything else is just in stock settings, just the way it comes from the factory. I don't like to mess with too much of the stuff. Let's just update it. And let's take a look at AVG here. Now, AVG link scanner, of course, there are not any settings to mess with, just I enable both their search shield and surf shield. And I also use one more thing that is the Komodo's uh, Dragon. It's also a free browser. You can, uh, it, basically, this thing comes with Komodo Internet Security, but in case you don't have it, you can download it for free. And it's based on Chromium. It's basically the same as Chromium, only it has uh, advanced security. Now, it's not like I just use this for security. It's a pretty good browser. It's pretty fast. Uh, so you can use this. It's not any problem. I haven't encountered any problems while using it. So you can just use it as your browser. It's not like it's slow, sluggish, and it asks you a lot of questions, nothing like that. It's pretty good. So I like using this and this gives me some more security. Now I do have AVG's uh, search shield and whenever I do a search I get ratings on whether a site is safe or not. And that's pretty useful in case you're an, an experienced user. These uh, search <coughs> scans can be pretty useful. And it also acts as kind of a web blocker if I try some malicious links. There you go, it tells me if a page is unsafe. So even if I try some malicious links, the link scanner does block them. So it's a pretty useful thing to have. Now AVG also comes with a do not track. So in case somebody is spying on you, you can find that out. Uh, with this do not track, if a web page is trying to record some of your data, you can disable it and stop it from doing that. So it's a pretty useful application. And Komodo Dragon, of course, uh, has a web blocking of its own, which adds to the protection. So that's kind of like it. And I also use uh, the Komodo DNS server, so you'll get it activated automatically when you install their internet security application. Now other than that, I think that's basically about it. I don't mess with too much of the stuff. I think two engines are enough. So let's just take a look at what kind of memory usage I have to give away to get this kind of security. Now, AVG, there you go, it's using about 4 to 5 megs. And Komodo, right now it's pretty heavy, it's using about 30 megs, but it falls down a lot. I've seen it sit around 10 megs most of time. So together, most of time I get within 15 to 20 megabytes, which is really light for two different applications. So memory-wise, it's pretty good configuration in case you're interested. So let's just get some files and kind of get an idea of the detection rate that I get with Komodo, because many users do think that Komodo don't have good signatures. So I'll just get some files here. Of course, we won't be doing any serious testing because this is my host machine and I don't want any traces and stuff like that. So I guess I'll just get some files. 
Okay, so here we have 247 pieces of malware that are all pretty new. So let's just scan them with Komodo and see what kind of a detection rate we get. So I'll be back when scan is done. Should be pretty fast. Okay, so let's just remove the threads here. And the removal is also pretty fast. It's not super fast, but it's pretty fast as you can see. So I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so the scan's done and everything's been removed. So we're left over with 26 items. And I think we had total of 224. Or did we have some more? I don't, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's about a detection rate of 88%, which is pretty good when it comes to these files. It's not the best, but it's around the best, somewhere near the best, certainly. So, it's pretty good detection rate that Komodo has. It's not, not like, uh, you know, not like uh, they don't have good signatures. Komodo do have good signatures as well as zero day blocking. So it's a pretty handy configuration in case you're interested. You can try it out. Both the applications are free, so it's not like it's going to cost you anything. So anyway, in case you're interested, this is uh, the video for you. So have a good day and goodbye.